Hey guys, wanted to show you the uh, kind of advanced menus that you can get with the SMDB and the SMB. I did a video a while ago, but there's also another hidden menu. Now, the main things that you're gonna need, firstly, let's just cover on and off. Press and hold the two buttons. There's also, it says power RF on. Uh, you press it, it cycles through. It tells you the power rating, lots of other things. Press audio for your audio level, level or um, low filter. So there's high pass filter. Um, or your audio level, and then frequency, you can press frequency, or you can get a channel of frequency. Um, and then you have down for turning your LEDs off, up for turning your LEDs on, um, and then you can press both if you want to lock and unlock the device. Um, so let's cover off the menu. Now there's two kind of menus. You're basically gonna need to press these two buttons and hold down this bottom one for this first menu because it has the smaller options on it. And if you can manage to press it, if you don't have uh, massive fingers like me, um, you'll see that it'll turn on to say RC. Uh, or it might say, oh, if I press audio, it might say uh, P back, P back one or zero. Um, so let's just cover RC. This is like remote control. So there's a Electro's app where you can like remotely uh, kind of dweedle tone and change a load of settings. Really useful for if they're hidden on actors. Uh, this is where you can actually just turn this on or off. Uh, also useful uh, if you're, I guess, worried about anyone intercepting your mic or, I don't know, the actors have it themselves or something. And then the other function is, um, so I'll leave that on and press audio or frequency to cycle back because there's only two options. Uh, the other one is uh, power back. So this is basically if there's a power failure, uh, should it remember the previous settings? Um, and so one is for yes and zero is for no. And it means that if you kind of uh, just pull out um, the, the batteries, for instance, or the, or the power generally dies, then when you, it'll automatically kind of turn back on with the same functionality that you've chosen for it, which is obviously really useful. So that's why we have that on. So that's covered uh, the kind of menu with the down arrow. Now let's cover the menu with the up arrow. So if I can manage to get my fingers together, um, then you'll see that it opens up to this. Basically, this is the hybrid. Um, this is basically just a normal transmitter. Um, otherwise, you have an IFB. So if there's kind of a receiver, you can turn this into a kind of IFB, basically, which is quite cool. Uh, so we obviously want it, uh, in terms of its CP capacity, we want it to just be uh, a normal wireless transmitter. Then we can use uh, Freak or Audio to go around. Uh, power, uh, we're only, we're, I'm in the UK, so we can only get 50 milliwatt. You may have other options um, to do 100 uh, or maybe even lower. I'm not sure they do lower actually, but uh, I think you can go up to 100 uh, megawatt in the US. Uh, BL for backlight. Uh, this is obviously the backlight to the display. So you have uh, just on all the time. Then you have uh, 30 seconds, and five seconds, find five seconds is enough. Generally, you're obviously pressing the buttons and so that's keeping the back display active. And then you can obviously just go from there. Um, step is really useful. Generally, it'll be set when you pr first get it, it'll probably be set on 100. Uh, this basically the audio uh, frequency button, sorry, is gonna say things like, I don't know, 606 dot 100 dot 200, 300. So it's more useful uh, basically to get more steps out of the frequency uh, that you're choosing. Um, and so when you're coordinating frequencies, I think it gives you almost a bit more latitude to work with as well. So that is basically that. I kind of keep that always on step. And then we're back to the original ones. Um, so yeah, then you can just press the two buttons in the middle to turn off. Uh, and there you go. You're kind of set up, I guess, with a, a basic kind of look. Um, so if you press and hold, if, if we were, for instance, sorry, let me just uh, turn it off for a sec. If we were to just hold for one second or two, it will turn on, but with RF off. So it won't, it'll be on, but it won't be broadcasting. Um, and you can still turn the LED off. Um, so this is with the RF off, but you could, for instance, still then manually change this by holding the frequency button and pressing up or down. Um, so you could still manually change this while it's not actually broadcasting. Super useful if you're in a busy environment um, or wireless environment, I should say. And I think then that's it really. LED is always pretty useful to be on uh, most of the time. 
sometimes maybe it's being seen through clothing or something like that. Um, and then audio, low filter, audio volume obviously depends. Pressing and holding, so unlock. So now we've locked it. So, I don't know, it's just tap to lock. No? Oh, oh lock. So now it's locked, right? It's, it's going to tell me what the display is, but it won't let me change it. So then I can press and hold, and then it should work. Uh, maybe you have to, do you have to turn it off? Oh, this is very confusing. <laughs> Lock. Okay, maybe I'll just take the batteries out. <laughs> There's power mode, and see it cycled uh, straight back on to what the previous settings were. There we go, my battery's about to die. So, I guess that ends this video. See you guys later. Thanks a lot.